Hello, John Dilworth here. We have an interesting opportunity uh, that I want to share. So uh, let's do it together. Uh, here's our, our background. We have uh, Julius Jaws. He's here. Now he's got his um, ears on a separate layer. What he has to do is um, he's got to bounce. He's got to go from there and out. Right, so they look at each other. Jim splits. We did that. That looks cool. And, uh, and then Julius bounces and out. And the timing for that <coughs> is rather short. It's right here. It's what, 12 frames. So he's got to do that quick. How do we do that? How do we do that? How do we do that so it's interesting? Here's an opportunity where we can just think about the variety of ways we can get this action out. The f easiest thing of when I look at this is that he just he bounces this way. Of course. I mean it's just blip, he goes. Another way, what would be another way he bounces off the sofa? I don't think we need the ears. Only because I want you to be able to see through the layers. There we go. So, right. Oop, these. Let me put this back on, on top. So, right. He can go this way and out. And the field is, the cutoff is really, really tight. Or he could jump this way and that way. How would that look? This is a head squash. And it'll go up. Down. And squash here. Up this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not going to make it. It'd be too fast. But it's a nice, but I like it. Unless he starts sooner. And there's no reason why he can't start sooner. He could. S Jim moves here. That's Jim's action right here. He moves here. We want an overlap. We want Jim to move before the dog does. Yeah, so we have six. We can do it on ones, but it's just super fast. So, by default, with very little option, we're going to have to go the simple route. We're just looking at this. So we can squash, that's one. Then we can go up, bounce, and out. Right? One, two, right, three, one, two, three, four, five, and out. It's not exactly what I want. Maybe I could cheat that a little bit too. And let's just block it out. I mean, you know, because what have we got to lose? And there's his ears. And we just cheat it, you know. Maybe the big maybe the thing is the perspective to, that could be fun. And this is the type of challenges that we have to deal with. I mean he's already descending. His body's gonna follow this path. It may be too smooth. Maybe here I can cheat it. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe here. Save us a little. And then maybe give us his head here. You know, give him a little... He's a little bit slower here, coming off. And then there's a one, two, three, four, five. And then maybe his... T you see just a bit of his tail before the scene cuts out. But I always like giving... Nothing, you know. Oh, well, that's the way it is. Maybe it's maybe it's just his feeties, something like that, and he starts the frame sooner. So that's how I blocked it out. You could see it, and it's it's just simple. Here's the path. It's just simple, like that. That's all you can do. But I think the, the 
The trick here is the illusion that so much more happens. So much more happens. I'm just giving the squash position here. And then he, he's bouncing out of there. And it's, what is this? It, does this remind you of the animation ball uh, exercise? <whistles> Where when it reaches the apex, it slows down. And then as it descends, it gets faster. Boom. And then it's a little bit tighter here as it pops out. Well, this is it. You see all the fundamentals are in play at any time. And the fun here would be um, the overlapping action of his ears and his tail. And that all will be done last, very absolutely last. We can just do his body first. And I'd like to get his eyes leading. A little squash here, little eyes. And this is a squash drawing. You see that he goes down like that. I think I have one that I could reuse. And if we could reuse stuff. Here, how about this? Can we use this? Let's see this. And then, no, it's not so powerful, so we'll have to redraw it. I thought we could reuse it, cheat, in other words. And cheating's okay. Judicial, judicial cheating, I call it. Well, I'm sure that's what it is. We're making very critical decisions. He's looking this way after Jim. Jim's just, and the other thing is Jim is, is really just covering in front of him. <sighs> so that's the other problem that I don't like. Because Jim, Jim's animation extended a little bit too long. Here, here's some of Jim's last bit of animation. He's tossing his gear. Um, it could be interesting. What is this? 13? 13, 13 is really covering. 13 and 14 is covering Julius Jaws. So when I'm animating, I'm looking at that. Ah, so that's a, just about when he's Jim, Julius Jaws is just beginning. The worst is over. We'll have to consider that when we're animating. I don't know what we could do. The only other thing to do is Jim, not Jim, but Jules, the dog. He doesn't even move. He just looks and watches. Yeah, that could also be good. And we don't have to animate anything. We just have him turn. Do I even have a drawing? No, I have him going this way. But I could make a drawing where Julius Jules just watches Jim. And then the next shot, you see Julius Jaws enter. So he follows, he just doesn't follow in this scene. Do you see, do you see the problem I'm having? I'm having, if, if one character is overlapping another character's action, why do that action if it's not vital? And his action is not vital. So we'll have to make some further judicial edits and see if it's even necessary to go through the inking, the animating, the inking, uh, the painting, the shooting. Oh, that's Anthony's time, you know, and we have other more important stuff to deal with. So there's another component of the judicial consideration. So I will explore that, and we'll figure it out, I'm certain. And, um, you know, since we're all just cozy, cozy here, I expect that we're making more of this art. Stay animated.